and out and in and out and in. For Samantha Coughlin, this is one move she can no longer perform. I've had to reinvent how I teach. I use a lot of my arm movements rather than actually demonstrating a lot of the steps because I physically am unable to do that now. The former school teacher suffered a severe vaginal tear delivering her first baby, leaving her with prolapse and urinary incontinence. That's my worst nightmare is sneezing in the classroom and something going wrong. And that's actually stopped me from going to work because it's not worth the risk, it's not worth that embarrassment. Muscles in the pelvic floor hold up organs and control the bladder and bowel. If they're damaged, it can cause incontinence, pain during sex or prolapse, where organs drop into the vagina. Good climbing. Good job. Well done. You don't need my help, look at you. Now pregnant with her third child, Samantha has been doing all she can to not make matters worse. So you'll encourage them to climb up something like this? Yes. Because you can't lift them up on... Definitely. It's, and it's less pressure on my pelvic floor, so I can just guide them. Um, and then avoiding the slide, definitely. And because landing that at the end is a lot of effort to secure myself. And so the impact on my life has been significant. I want to be that fun mum who jumps on the trampoline or who climbs up the playground and goes down the slide, but I can't physically do it. If I were to do those things, I could actually damage it further. These injuries, are, for some women, can be completely catastrophic. So they might start to avoid exercise, they might start to avoid time on their feet, they might avoid picking up their children. If a woman has urinary incontinence, she will often be avoiding leaving the house because she's not quite sure where the next bathroom would be. She might be avoiding exercise because of fear of leaking. So how many Australian women experience pelvic injury after birth? Well, we just don't know. National data tells us that 3% of vaginal deliveries result in a severe third or fourth degree tear. But that doesn't reflect many of the forms of pelvic floor dysfunction women experience after childbirth, including prolapse. Now, a new study of thousands of women on the Gold Coast shows three months after giving birth, one third of women experience bladder leakage. One in 10, faecal incontinence, and half feel pain during sex. At the moment, we're not collecting data um, from the women's perspective. What we don't measure, we can't improve on. Dr. Slavin led the Griffith study. She now wants the public health system to routinely collect information from women about their experience with pelvic injuries. Once we start doing that, we will be able to better provide care and services and information and resources for women. The ABC has heard from nearly 4,000 women about their birthing experience and many describe devastating pelvic injuries and express dismay that the healthcare system doesn't provide a better standard of care. There's a long way to go. There's a lot more support that needs to be provided. Emma Elder was keen to return to the gym after having her first baby, but a pelvic injury kept her away. The comprehensive therapy she needed to get back to her old life just wasn't on offer from her local public hospital. I was experiencing incontinence and I was quite embarrassed and I really didn't know how to fix it. After doing her own research, she found a private pelvic physio who helped her recover from her first pregnancy then prepared her for a second. I'm feeling really good now. I've actually had twins since, and um, this time I have um, been under the guidance of regular women's health physiotherapy visits. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to teach you that concept of your pelvic floor relaxing and opening. There is strong evidence showing specialised pelvic physiotherapy can reduce the number and severity of the injuries women sustain. Those of us that work in the field are banging our heads against the wall, thinking why isn't more being done. The Australian Physiotherapy Association is calling for five Medicare-funded sessions with a physiotherapist for all women who give birth. That could be before delivery. And there's good evidence to support that this can help to reduce the chance of perineal injury or birth trauma during labour. Or after. So say, for example, with stress urinary incontinence, physiotherapy has very high levels of evidence to show that pelvic floor muscle training can help to reduce these symptoms. 
She wants to see things turned around for women who give birth in Australia. I see women here at this hospital who are in their 60s and 70s and they have experienced problems with their pelvic floor since the time of their first birth. And that's really sad to think that possibly for 30 or 40 years they've been putting up with these symptoms and didn't have any sort of strategy or treatment to help them with those.